Our story for Dr. Neva Sequila Mumba starts with these two important individuals. One named Peter Sande Sequila Mumba from Masandiko Village, who was also a preacher or a pastor in the United Church of Zambia and also a teacher. He was born in 1916 and he passed on at the age of 68. And the other individual is Martha Mumba or Malita Mumba from Mulembo Village, also in Jinsai. These two were a couple. And in 1960, on the 18th of May, at Chitambo Mission Hospital in central northern Zambia, they begat their 11th child who they named Nevis Sequila Mumba. Both of his parents were members of the UCZ. In accordance to the doctrine of the United Church of Zambia, Nevis had to be baptized as an infant by Reverend Paul Mushindo. The family of the Mumbas consisted of 12 children, that is seven brothers and five sisters. And when Nevis was four years, five months, something wonderful happened. Zambia got her independence from the British who strongly ruled for 11 years before 1964, October 24th. As a little boy, Nevis grew up in Chikumba village and he did his primary at Chinsali Basic School. And after getting good grades on his grade seven examination, he was selected to go to one of the best schools in the country. At that time, he went to Hillcrest National Technical School in 1974 at the age of 14. While there at Hillcrest, he joined Zambia Combined Cadet Force, ZCCF, and later he rose in rank and became a provincial commandant for the whole southern province. And at this point, his aim in life was after school. I will be a military man. Well, never had a huge turnaround in 1977, October the 17th, when he was 17 years of age, that a missionary from Trinidad preached to him the word of the Lord and he became born again. It's actually the same year where we see great servants of the Lord, like Pastor Joshua Band of North Mid Assemblies getting saved, and also Dr. Danny Pule getting saved. Two weeks later, we see Nevis starting to preach and establishing school clubs like Scripture Union. And upon completing his high school at Hillcrest National High School in 1978 at the age of 18, Nevis went to the Zambia National Service for a one-year compulsory training. And it was in the same year with his new faith we see Nevis joining the Maranatha movement of the Assemblies of God, Pentecostal Church. And a year later in 1979, Nevis became a youth leader and he attended the youth meeting in Kitwe, which was at Maranatha Assemblies of God, and it was at this meeting, when Nevis Sequela Mumba met the love of his life named Florence Mumba. At that time, Mrs. Mumba now, who is Florence, was just 15 years of age, and Nevis was 19 years of age. When the two met, they never paid so much attention to each other. Because during this time, Dr. Nevis Mumba was even in another relationship. But both of them had interests in theology. And it was in 1980 that Nevis was at CPC Instrumentation School in the Copa Belt, studying artisan in instrumentation 
And then the call of the Lord was just so great that he would minister the gospel to his convents, even in the dining hall of MIMSC hostels. Then the call about. Now, nervous being a youth leader under the leadership of Pastor Sky Band of Maranatha Assemblies, a time came in 1981 that there was a Canadian missionary by the name Gary Skinner, who was a coordinator of the Crusades for One Powerful Evangelist by the name Raynard Bonke of Christ for All Nations, known as Sifan. He came to Kitwe, Raynard Bonke, and at the age of 21, Dr. Nevis Mumba was asked to interpret for him. It was actually in the same meeting or in the same crusade where we also see another servant of the Lord by the name Pastor Moses Chuluba of Kamnet TV, who was an usher in those meetings and who was also 21 years of age. And Raynard saw the zeal that never had for the Lord. And Evangelist Bonke looked at Nevis and stated, Well, this interpreter is made out of the same stuff like I. Those words encouraged Nevis to continue interpreting for him as Pastor Chiluba and the other servants of the Lord looked at him and they went together even in Kawe to do the interpretation for the servant of the Lord Raina and Bonke. In 1982, we see Nevis in August with his fellow preachers forming the Evangelistic Board of Zambia, EBZ, and held crusades and invited another missionary by the name Peter Yang of Canada to preach. Nevis loved the Lord and walked with the Lord and held a lot of meetings. And Evangelist Bonke saw that and he sponsored him to go study theology at Christ for the Nations in Texas, Dallas in 1983. While in the USA, the communication between Florence and Nevis strengthened. Nevis encouraged Florence to come and study in Dallas, Texas at Christ for the Nations, and it happened. It was in the same year, 1984 of May, that Nevis graduated from Bible school and came to Zambia. And with the help of Raynard Bonke, he started his ministry, Victory Bible Church International with 12 members in Kitwe. As the ministry was being established, Dr. Nevis Mumba became the first local televangelist to have a gospel broadcast service on the Zambia National Broadcasting Corporation ZNBC in 1987 under the theme, Zambia Shall Be Served, which was a baby theme of Raynard Bonke's theme, Africa Shall Be Saved. In the year 1985, Florence Moapemwila graduated from Bible school in January and in April on the 13th day the two got married. By that time Dr. Mumba was 25 years of age and the marriage officiation was done by Reverend Jim Hess at Evangelical Church in Kitwe. In the space of seven years they had five kids, that's three boys and two girls. Some of the names of the kids are Tehila Oshumo, Joshua, and Natasha. And as of 2022, they have been together for 37 years in marriage, and they have six grandchildren. It is in 1990 where we see Pastor Nevis Mumba for the very first time leaning towards politics via a prophecy against one party state of President Kenneth Kaunda. And this too helped the country to have a new era in 1991 under President Frederick Chaluba of the Movement for Multi Party Democracy, the MMD. Pastor Nevis Mumba continued preaching until the 4th of September 1997 
when him and his friends Florence Chola, Simata Simata, Eva Sanderson formed the National Christian Coalition and in 1998 on the 19th of June they changed it to the National Citizens Coalition and contested for presidency in 2001 on December 27th. The NCC encouraged Christians to take part in government positions and in the 2001 elections it came out 8th in the field of 11 total candidates and it received 2.24% which was 38,860 total votes cast. Dr. Nevis Mumba being the youngest among the total 11 candidates. Upon losing the 2001 elections to the MMD under President Levi Patrick Mwanawasa, it was in 2003, May the 27th, that the NCC was dissolved and merged into the MMD. And two days later, after dissolving his party on May the 29th, 2003, Dr. Nevis Mumba was appointed as Vice President of the Republic of Zambia by President Levi Patrick Mwanawasa. And that was 11 days after him celebrating his 43rd birthday. As Vice President, he helped greatly in bridging the tribal tensions which were occurring in the country until the issue of Moise Katumbi of the Congo DR and the 40th independence anniversary of Mother Zambia that on the 4th of October 2004 his reign after serving for 16 months as VP came to an end and Lupando Mwape was appointed as the new vice president for Mother Zambia. After all this he went to Dallas, Texas and Pastor Raynard Bonke helped him for six months until 2005 when he came back and upon coming back he was suspended from the party and in 2006 June the 1st on Tuesday he was expelled from the MMD party and in the bid to unseat the MMD presidential candidate in the September 2006 elections, in the same month of June after being expelled from the party, he made his own party named the Reformation Party RP. To achieve this, an alliance had to be made named the National Democratic Front. It comprised of political parties like Party Unity, Democracy and Development Party, the Patriotic Front, the Zambia Republican Party, ZRP, the Zambia Development Conference, ZADECO, and also the Reformation Party. And after the 12th of June 2006, Nevis Mumba and the former president, Michael Sata, pulled out of the alliance. As the elections were approaching, in August, on the 10th day of 2006, Dr. Mumba announced that he won't participate in the tripartite elections of the September 2006. And in 2007, Nervous Mumba reconciled with Levi Patrick Monawasa, and in 2008, Mr. Monawasa died and was succeeded by Rupia Bwezanibanda. Seeing that the Reformation Party was not active since 2007, President Rupia Bozanibanda appointed Mr. Mumba Nevis in 2009 as a High Commissioner to Canada. Being a dedicated High Commissioner to Canada on the 7th of October, he was elected as the new President and the first African or Black President of the Ottawa Diplomatic Association, ODA. After President Sata was sworn in as the new President of the Republic of Zambia on the 23rd of September, 
On the 16th of November 2011, President Sata called back Dr. Mumba home and he arrived in the country on Thursday, 8th December 2011. This marked the end of his reign as High Commissioner to Canada. The MMD suffered a huge setback, not only that they lost the elections, but because President Rupia Bozanibanda resigned from active politics. And upon Dr. Mumba arriving in the country, he started campaigning for the MMD presidency adoption on the 18th of December 2011. When the 25th of May 2012 came, six days after his 52nd birthday, he became the fourth president for the Movement for Multi-Party Democracy, MMD, with a threshold of 67.34%, beating Mr. Felix Mutati, who represented 32.66% of the total votes casted. The inauguration of Dr. Mumba as president of the MMD was on June 1st, 2012. Dr. Mumba has continued to govern the party even in the previous elections which were held on the 12th of August 2022. The MMD came out 10th with a representation of 0.10% of the total votes cast. As president of the MMD party, Dr. Mumba holds a master's degree in public policy from Regent University, Virginia Beach, USA. He also holds a theology degree from Christ for the Nations Institute in Dallas, Texas, USA. He has a diploma in instrumentation from the Copperbelt Energy Institute in Kitui. And he also holds a honorary doctorate in theology from the Full Gospel Christian Theological Seminary in Flint, Michigan, USA. And here are some fun facts about Dr. Mumba. He's well known across Africa, Europe, USA, and many parts of the globe. He loves boxing. His mother is one of the sisters of the late president, KK, and over 25 years, he has been making tea for his lovely wife between 6 and 7 a.m. in the morning. He runs an average of 4.5 kilometers. He loves writing, praying for this country. He continues to be a loving husband. A father and a grandfather, a senior statesman and a senior pastor of all the 53 branches of Victory Bible Ministries. It is safe to say the Dr. Never Sequila Mumba, president of the Movement for Multi-Party Democracy, the MMD, continues to be a man led by prophecy, by wisdom and by vision. In your own statement, sir, Zambia shall be served. This video is an expression of love to you. It's one of the roses being given to you as our mouth utters a sentence of thank you for the good works you've done for this country, for the amazing things you're doing for this nation, even the greater works you shall do tomorrow. Indeed, we thank you. Shalom and God bless Zambia.